Hey everyone and welcome to another one of my tutorials. And this is the fifth lesson, um, but it's going to be a more beginner oriented lesson. Um, in this lesson we'll see the basic uh, skills for algorithms and how to construct an, alg uh, an algorithm. Um, so what an algorithm is, it's just uh, a set of instructions uh, we create to solve a problem. For example, if you want to make a, a chicken sandwich, uh, you may want to get first the bread, put it on the toaster, and put a toaster on, then get the, the chicken and any other ingredients, then get the bread out of the toaster when the toaster has finished, and put the ingredients such as the sauce or something like that, and then the chicken, and then put the other part of bread on top, and then that's the end of the algorithm and the uh, sandwich is ready to be eaten. Mm, but unfortunately, computers cannot understand this sort of algorithms. They need um, specific ones that are very similar. Sorry about this. Uh, they are very similar because they follow the same um, logical um, procedure. Although the syntax, of course, varies. You have to use the syntax which is specific to each programming language. In our case, as you know, we're using the Java programming language. Um, so we'll use its syntax. But if we were using a different programming language, such as um, Lisp, for example, we would use different syntax. Um, so let's actually create the algorithm for uh, the chicken sandwich. I liked it. And we here on Paint write the algorithm first so that we have uh, some reference. We first get the bread, put in the toaster, we get the ingredients, uh, one toaster has finished. We get the uh, toasted bread and we put the sauce, we pop the chicken, uh, put the last uh, bread slice on top, ready to eat. So let me explain part by part what this means. The get bread, put bread and toaster, get necessary ingredients and uh, get the toasted bread and put the sauce and put the chicken and put the last bread a slice on top, all um, uh, tell the computer to do something. Finally the ready to eat um, instruction doesn't tell the computer to eat anything, it merely updates the status of your chicken sandwich. Um, so, get bread implies automatically not only getting the bread as an instruction, but when you get the bread you do many instructions. For example, let me create a new algorithm to get the bread. So this would be the get bread algorithm. It would be um, open the fridge if you ha have half the bread in your fridge uh, then uh, find the bread get the bread and let's leave it at that of course you may add more instructions um, let's add a little arrow there uh, so that we'll know what it means and again, let's once more. That's it. Um, so you can see that each um, instruction in the first algorithm has many different uh, sub algorithms to it. Um, so the get bread uh, implies open the fridge, find the bread, get the bread, and then of course. Um, and deposit the bread back into the fridge and close the fridge. I missed those two, but still, um, you get the idea. Put bread and toaster also uh, means that 
um, you put the bread in the toaster if of course the toaster is on and um, um, then get the necessary ingredients you first have to know which ingredients then you have to open the fridge find those ingredients one by one and get each individual ingredient one by one and then getting the toaster to bread once again uh, implies uh, already having the bread inside the toaster because um, know that a computer might miss steps um, because an error occurs or something similar so we should check if the bread is on the toaster already and if it is and it is toasted then we can get it and then we can put the sauce and this um, it would mean that we have to get a knife or something to put the sauce with um, then open the sauce bottle and uh, put the sauce and again put the sauce in that least latter method also implies uh, putting the knife into the bottle and so on there are lots of sub actions um, the same with put the chicken in the final put the last bread slice on the top um, yeah, for that you need to know which part is the top of course and you also have to get the bread and put it on top finally ready to eat is not um, something we have to do um, but just uh, telling the computer that your sandwich is finished and you don't have to do anything more to it. So, uh, now we've seen this, uh, let's um, go and actually add this in Java. So what this would be in Java is, um, well, uh, if you've seen my previous lessons, then you'll know that a method is a set of instructions and a statement is a single instruction um, so if you've related this to Java already you will know that this uh, will be your main method and each one of these will be a method itself except this last one and then here we can have more methods and until uh, the methods themselves on the lower end of the program are merely made of instructions um, so all these methods are not going to exist and so they will be on the line in red but just for you to get the idea if we put the paint here on the right and this here on the left and the main method would be something like this get bread then bread on toaster get ingredients get toasted bread put sauce to bread put chicken to bread then put a bread slice on top and then return true so get bread then bread and toaster it's putting the bread and so on we can um, we have a method for each uh, instruction and then the return true basically says uh, uh, that the bread is ready to eat because we return true if the bread is ready and false if it isn't it seems logical enough of course this is a void method so we cannot return true because void methods cannot return any values but just for you to get the idea but then all of these methods don't exist as it tells you cannot find symbol so we should create them for example private void uh, get bread so we've created the get bread method now what's the problem there okay it's not static but we don't care about that really for the moment so here we would have open fridge find bread get bread uh, deposit bread well um, I have to change get bread and then close fridge and that's it we cannot have a get bread method here because then it would call itself again so uh, let's say get bread from fridge to fridge um, so we're going down on this ladder then private void open fridge this would be the open fridge method and this would be 
um, get fridge handle uh, pull and so on so if we go down and down and each time we get nearer to the uh, objects which with uh, which with which we're interacting so here it's more general and then we go a bit more specific and now we're just interacting with the fridge itself um, so we must leave it here but this um, is something very interesting for you to think about um, and you should make your scripts al always thinking about this going on a top-down design uh, creating the main methods and then uh, creating smaller and smaller methods until the methods you create are just the smallest they can be I'll see you on the next one. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.